I want to start off by reading from your article, and you said um, addressing these economic problems begins with acknowledging the fact that they are the inevitable product of racism. The next step is to make the long-term commitment to change the structures and policies that continue to block further progress. These changes will require big, bold policies and actions that shift the balance of power in multiple areas. Now, regarding the changing uh, of the structures and policies, that's going to require an immense amount of trust. In order to successfully change the structures and the policies and successfully fulfill the trust factor, are you suggesting that there be more minority and female representation? Please explain. Um, I think that's one way of doing it, and I also think it's important to acknowledge the fact that this is not like a single activity. There's not like one thing we can do and everything will be shifted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've gotten to the point where we are now over many years, you know, many fights, uh, some of which have been won, some of which have been lost. But the point is that we continue to, to press forward and move ahead and make those changes. And often that requires, you know, removing people who are in power who are resistant to those changes and putting uh, uh, new people in their place who will help us to move forward to the, the future that, that we all want to 